as Tanner angles about the yard. He's just a typical golden retriever. Except from his viewpoint, this is how things look. One of the things you will notice is he does have the, the cataracts in both eyes. Blind since birth with a slight seizure problem. The first year of his life wasn't bad at all until his owner died and he had no one. You know, things got different in his world and that stress led to uh, his seizure disorder getting worse, it seemed, and, you know, being blind and panicky. And Still very much a puppy. Big puppy. Pam from the Golden Retriever Rescue Group stepped in got him placed in a home with a woman named Jill, but... Well, she can tell you the situation. Let's talk about the issues. It's not just that he has seizures. It's what happens during the seizures. Uh, he can actually lose a little bit of control, and um, so there can be just a little bit of a mess. A little bit of a mess is putting it nicely. Yes, he would defecate, urinate, seize in it, you know, but... Yeah, it was bad. There's, there's no question about it. It was a mess to come to some morning. He wound up back at the clinic, teasing nearly every night, pacing nervously in his pen. His future as dark as his eyesight. I can tell you it was more than one time I've recommended putting Tanner to sleep. Which is where this tale of tragedy ends. I mean, it's definitely a great story. All my friends that I've told about it are definitely intrigued by it and definitely want to know more as a new tale enters the picture. Um, just your everyday street dog. Blair has her own issues. She was shot and now she's timid, nervous, needs work. By chance, one day she wound up out in the yard with Tanner and it happened. I just haven't seen anything like this ever. <laughs> A friendship was forged that took the command HEAL and spelled it H-E-A-L. Since having Blair as a companion, he hasn't had any patients. And Blair? She's pretty friendly versus what she used to be, so the two of them together have been a remarkable synergistic effect. This is going to sound weird. Do you think Blair knows Tanner is blind? Oh, yeah. I don't think there's a doubt. Especially when you watch Blair lead Tanner around by a leash. She's a service dog for another dog. Always under her watchful eye. Or snap, as the case may be. The ending to this story? The hope that someone will come along and help keep this union going strong by adopting them both. Or let no man put asunder what two dogs have put together. They're pretty much inseparable at this point. I think Blair's jealous at the moment. <laughs> they have to be together, there's no question.